वेलकम टू दी सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस रिफ्लेक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिसाइन रिफ्लेक्शन रिफ्लेक्शन इज अ टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन विच A figure is reflected across a line, which is called the axis of reflection, or the mirror line. or you can say the reflection line creating a perfect mirror image across the other side of the axis of reflection the symbol rm denotes the operation reflect in n where this m is the reflection line or you can say the axis of reflection or the mirror line we also call it the mediator if we have a reflection line m and if p dash is the image of p after reflection in line n then we write it as rm such that p goes to p dash that is p dash is the image of p after reflection in the line n or we can also write this as rm of p is equal to p dash now as p dash is the image of p so p is the p image of point p dash now next let us see how we can obtain the image of a point after reflection suppose we need to find the image of a point p after reflection in line n consider this point p this is the line m we have to find the image of this point p after reflection in this line m so for this what we do is we mark a point p dash on the other side of the reflection line m and this point should be at the same distance from m as 
as the point P. So the distance between the line M and the point P should be same as the distance between the line M and the point P dash. And also we have to make sure that the line segment joining the two points P and P dash is perpendicular to the reflection line. So this is the point P dash which is the image of the point P after reflection in the line M. Now, let this point be O so, OP is same as OP dash and also PP dash is perpendicular to the line M. If we have that the point P lies on the reflection line M, then point P is its own image. So, this means the image of the point P under the reflection in line M when the point P is on the reflection line M is point P itself. We can find the image of the triangle ABC after reflection in this line M by the same method. So we obtain this triangle A dash B dash C dash as the image of triangle ABC under reflection in line M. A dash is the image of point A after reflection in line M. In the same way, B dash and C dash are also images of points B and C respectively after reflection in line M. Then we also find that A dash B dash, that is the line segment A dash B dash, is the image of the line segment AB after reflection in the line M. Same is the case for the line segments A dash C dash and B dash C dash. They are the images of the line segments BC and AC respectively after reflection in the line M. In the same way we can find out the images of the quadrilaterals after reflection in a given line. Now we discuss some properties related to reflection. First we have the position of a figure is not preserved under reflection. If you look at this image of triangle ABC, we find that on the right hand side we have the vertex A dash, but in the original figure on the right hand side we had the point B and this A dash is not the image of point B but it is the image of the point A. So this means the position of the triangle ABC is changed under reflection. The next property is the shape of the figure is preserved Under reflection, that is, a line would remain a line after reflection, a triangle would remain a triangle after reflection, and a circle would remain a circle after reflection, and so on for the other figures. Like we have this line segment AB, the image of the line segment AB after reflection is A dash B dash, which is also a line segment, so this shows that the shape of the figure is preserved under reflection. Next we have 
the sense or orientation of a figure is not preserved under reflection. For this triangle ABC or you can say CBA, the sense of CBA is clockwise, but the image of this triangle ABC is A dash B dash C dash or C dash B dash A dash and here the sense of C dash B dash A dash is counterclockwise. So this shows that the sense or you can say the orientation of a figure is not preserved under reflection. Or we can say that if the original figure is described in counterclockwise sense, then the image of the figure would be described in clockwise sense and vice versa. Next property is the distance. is preserved under reflection that is the length of the line in the image figure would be same as the length of the line in the original figure like if you consider this the length of A dash B dash which is the image of AB would be same as the length of AB so this shows that the distance is preserved. Now the next property that we have is angle measure is preserved under reflection and in this case sense does not matter. Like if we have two lines AB and AC, angle between these two lines is angle BAC and angle between the corresponding lines in the image that is in triangle A dash B dash C dash the corresponding lines are A dash B dash and A dash C dash and the angle between these two lines is angle B dash A dash C dash that is this angle and these two angles would be equal that is angle BAC would be equal to angle B dash A dash C dash although their sense is different. Next property that we have is size of the figure is preserved that is the area of the image of a figure would be same as the area of the original figure. So in this case area of triangle A dash B dash C dash would be same as the area of triangle ABC. Next property is the points on the mirror line are invariant that is the points that lie on the mirror line do not change by reflection so if we have a point say a point P on the mirror line M then this point P is its own image next property that we have is parallelism is preserved Under reflection, here we have two parallel lines AB and CD. The image of AB is A dash B dash and image of CD is C dash D dash and we observe that A dash B dash is parallel to C dash D dash. 
So this shows that parallelism is preserved under reflection. We can also say this as the angle between AB and CD is 0 degrees and so the angle between their images would also be 0 degrees. That is between A dash B dash and C dash D dash would also be 0 degrees and so they are parallel. This is because we know that angle measure is preserved under reflection. Next property that we have is the mirror line or the reflection line bisects the angle between any line and its image. N dash is the image of the line L. Now, this M is the mirror line. So, this mirror line bisects the angle between this line L and its image L dash. That is, it bisects this angle L O L dash. So, this means this angle would be equal to this angle. That is angle. Now this M is the mirror line. And so this mirror line bisects the angle between the line L and its image L dash. That is it bisects angle this. And so these two angles would be equal. So this completes the question. Hope you understood the concept of reflection and how to obtain the image of a point after reflection and also the properties of reflection.